Hi, I'm Tom with the FCB Lounge channel and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to go from this, a geodetic survey data with terrain points information, into this, which is a shape that represents the terrain that you can work with inside of FreeCAD. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial and for this task I will be using the road workbench which is an external workbench so you need to install it but it's very easy to install the workbench you can go to tools add-on manager and here in the search field you will type in road and the road workbench shows up you will click it and here you will have an install button so you can easily install the workbench I already have it installed. So let's get to it. I will close this file and I will open a new empty file and in the road workbench I will use the tool GeoPoints import and I have a detailed separate tutorial on this tool so you might watch that if you want to know more details. Here I will go very quickly. So I will fire up the tool and here I've got the settings so I know that it's delimited by tab, description I don't need and I've got those columns with easting, northing and elevation. It's the second, third and fourth uh, row. So now I will add the file and it's in documents and it's the terrain points large. I will open that one and if I click it here I can see the overview of how it will be imported. So easting northing and elevation columns so I will click OK and you can see that points from the survey are imported and they are placed in a road workbench project which it is in the cluster and it's this geopoints cluster I will select it and in the view properties I will change the label color to black to see it and I will also change the marker color to black so I can see it and I don't want to see all these uh, all these uh, numbers so I will ch change the number to false and also the elevation to false so it doesn't show up and only the points show up so these are my imported points into the free CAD okay so now let's create a terrain object from this points cluster so I will select the point cluster and fire up the create terrain tool and this is quite easy I will just select the uh, point cluster from here I will check it and hit OK and the terrain is created from points that I imported in the previous step and you can see here in the terrains I have my terrain object created now if I look at it you can see that it copies the points location and it creates the triangulation. Now what's sometimes not necessary, sometimes it is, is fine tuning of the terrain. You can see these are the points here and the triangulation also happened here. And this is not uh, what, the, what the survey really measured. So I want to delete these triangles. How would I do that? I can select the terrain object and here I've got options of editing the terrain and what I will use is to delete the tri triangles. So I will select this tool and now you have to be careful the tool is started and if I hover my mouse here and click the triangle is removed. It's still uh, working so if I click on this triangle it's removed uh, you have to be careful on where you click because if you delete a triangle the under tool doesn't work uh, with this one so you have to be really careful so I will click also this one and this one and this one and this one and this one let me click also here and I would probably also, you can see that there are some triangles here on this side which I would want to remove and I have to be careful again 
to click on the correct triangle so uh, I would fine-tune these uh, I would check uh, if these outer uh, edges are correct so for this example this is enough of fine-tuning and to exit the tool it's important to know that you have to hit escape uh, it will show this cancelled two times and this actually uh, exits the tools so it's important to know that to exit the road workbench tools you often often uh, can use the escape key now we have got the terrain here i will actually hide the geo point so we can just see the terrain and with the terrain you can see that uh, contour lines were automatically created and if i select the terrain and go to the data you can see that you can set the ma major and minor interval of the contours this is in meters so these red ones are five meters uh, altitude difference and the yellow ones are one meter altitude distance if i would change it to two uh, you can see that uh, the minor and major are changed uh, together so now i have a different different contour lines so this is how you can set up those contour lines so now that we have got the terrain imported and fine-tuned you could easily use it in the world workbench for other purpose but if you want to use it in other FreeCAD workbenches you have to still convert it because this object in the road workbench the terrain does not have uh, a free cat shape so to use this terrain in other free cat workbenches we have to convert it and we will do that by selecting the terrain object and clicking this button and here we have got options to extract points from the terrain extract triangles uh, extract boundary or extract contours and we have got two options we can create a mesh or shape so first let's create a mesh and this created a new mesh object i will redraw the file and you can see if i hide my original terrain this mesh object is created and it's a standard freecad mesh object so uh, uh, you can work with it within other workbenches now if i will again select the terrain and create a shape from it you can see i will hide the geo point origin you can see that the shape object was created and the difference between mesh and the shape object is that mesh is much lighter to work with but uh, some of the some of the tools in other workbenches don't work with mesh well and they work with shape better so the shape is a bit heavier but it's much more universal to work with in other workbenches so let's say if i wanted to use this terrain shape in bim workbench i would probably create a site and uh, in the site object i will change the shape appearance let's change the color to green and i would make this shape object to represent the terrain of the site so i will go to data and i will assign the shape object to the terrain property so i will select the shape hit ok now some recalculation happens and after it's done i have got my site object and it's using the shape uh, shape uh, from the imported terrain so now i can happily work with this terrain in bim workbench so this is how you can import geodetic survey point into freecad and create terrain out of them and from the terrain you can create a shape that you can work with outside of the road workbench the process is very fast and straightforward now as i stated previously the road workbench is an external workbench and it's developed by hakan i will link the github page in the description box below and if you want to support the development of the road workbench 
Hakan has a Patreon link on the GitHub page so you can support him there. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.